and we are back with our next episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's just keep on going. Last episode we were doing port key things. And we were in Gringotts and then we got locked in a vault and then I got separated from my professor and now we're here. Where were you? But I found this floating above the basin. It's a pensive? Got a memory? That is no mere basin. Ooh. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Let's do it. Follow my lead. This is very fun. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible is that for Albus? one who cannot see traces no. of ancient magic as I can. I guess I Your should read it. To see what Percival? Cannot, will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. That's cool. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. Mm -hmm. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. Oh, no. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. What? Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No. Yeah, I look really that. menacing. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. No. I don't think there's anything really for you uh, to sir, take. They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I I only meant that, that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Mm -hmm. He was following the rules. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. We didn't even find anything well, in here. Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. Squish him. Shoot him in the ass. No way out. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Oh, hot damn. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. That's weird. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Aww, they brought us back to school. How nice. They wanted to make sure we didn't get too lost. How thoughtful. Oh, this is beautiful. If this was a real place, I would live here. The greenhouse? Yes? Hello? <sighs> Beautiful. ceremony. Bless up. I'm no expert, but <coughs> that seems more appropriate. How did you now, do that? I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, mm -hmm. I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course. And sir. my bestest friends. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Are you, sir? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, <laughs> nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were I'm going to have to look into where the timeline is on it this. It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Well then. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Well then. <clears throat> you're acting like it's my fault, sir. That's rude. I didn't do anything. I just was riding in a carriage and then a dragon came. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Hmm. Professor Weasley? 
Sam's day. Ah, do I have to do yes. a quiz now? It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? Yeah, are you, you come judging here me? With preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Um, I can't wait to explore. We're looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Of glowing sparkle? Mm, what is it? Um... Um... Ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Perhaps. I mean, that's what the sorting hat wants to give me, so... You belong in... Slytherin! This goes so well with my purple hair, right? I feel like if I was Ravenclaw, aesthetically that would have been better, but... Oh, and one more I feel like thing. all those treats were good. Due to things. the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Why? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but. Should don't I Google it right me. now? You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Hogwarts Legacy is set a hundred years Quite before an the events of lovely Harry Potter. You. Okay. I'm Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As cool. I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. It can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Ooh, that's cool. Well done. Thank you. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're Ooh. welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I like the mermaids in there. <gasps> so pretty. This gives me the chills. It's actually really pretty oh, in the like common gone. room here. Better head to the common room. I freaking love the wallpaper in here. That is so cute. It's 
so pretty. This is so cool. This is probably one of the least explored for me as far as being a Harry Potter fan goes for what I would know what it would look like in here. I know the Gryffindor common room very well. You see a tiny bit of Ravenclaw's common room, I want to say, in the seventh movie. Seventh or- no, the eighth movie. But, um, yeah. Just taking the long way, enjoying it down here. This is so cool. Can I go in here? This game is really pretty. Wow. Okay. Maybe I'm okay with the Slytherin aesthetic. Bitch. Are you serious? And Gryffindor just has a little tower? some introductions are in order this is so much better hello did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night yeah can I talk to you I'm right here do you want to fight me do you want to fight me do you want to fight me I will fight you. Oh, eat the candy. Yeah, let's talk to the person who's minding their own business. Already knew that. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not yeah, everyone you has a so ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit um, of a blur, to be honest. Don't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can That's talk how? more later. Mm-hmm. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Mmm. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Oh, it was good just... meeting you. Good luck today. Giving me a cliffhanger here. Let's see, who else can we talk to? You guys seem like assholes when you guys were all talking about me. Ooh. Are you serious? This is so... All you basic bitches that chose Gryffindor, I hope you regret it. <laughs> Everyone who chose courage and loyalty, I know what you did there. You did it on purpose. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. 
she did. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. <sighs> yeah, Perhaps that's just Professor nice. Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps <laughs> one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking mm. of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing <clears> like <throat> swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Good talk, good talk. Ominous? I, I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm blind? guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> Gotta just be you're confident. You're in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Mm, flirting with me? Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Yeah. Can I go up the other way? I want to know what's up here. Ooh, secrets. Oh, level three. Another common room? Ooh, cupcakes. Yum. Level two lock. Cake. I'm guessing the side is similar. Let's just eat everything in the whole entire place. This is pretty. Eat the candy. We'll eat the cake, we'll eat the cupcakes, we'll eat the fruit. Okay. I guess I'll keep on going. Some of us are tidier than others, so aren't we? This is so cool. Oh, Oops, I didn't do it. it. Wasn't me. You have no proof. Hello. Good morning. I trust morning. you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. 
OWLs. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of That's Magical a lot of Education pressure. at the Ministry, <clears throat> we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Here you are. Uh oh. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Okay. You would be wise to take cool. full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Resource. Okay. My armpits you, make Professor, things disappear. Cool. What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. Can I see what this is? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Cool. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. All oh, this. That would make sense since this is the statue and that was a chest. Yep. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guide challenges are only way to acquire experience point. Okay, cool. Gear Apprentice Reward. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Neat. Clever, isn't it? Didn't we come Keep from your eyes open down for here? more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Are we going back there? I'm confused. Okay. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker your field flu guide flames. contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall Library, she said Central Hall. Okay, 
I've played a couple of the different Harry Potter games. I've for sure played Prisoner of Azkaban. And I've played Order of the Phoenix and the Deathly Hallows ones. I had one on the DS. I can't recall which one that one was. But every single and one of these are. games is Quite always the been saver. awesome. These stairs lead so it's really fun to, to be back. Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central and I'm Hall. Betting that this always is a lot more here. elaborate than the other games. Of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. <laughs> That should be all for this now. This place be awesome. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace that would be the supplies cool. you lost on the way here. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Do I have parents? Hmm. Oh, my mouse died. Perks of a wireless mouse, am I right? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against, against the, the dark arts that lurk beyond these walls. Oh my gosh. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted hmm. Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. That's neat. I what guess I let's learn just charms class? learn exactly what you might expect. about this. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did call me adept? He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended um, trip up to the castle. I I don't. Um, I'm we're sorry, not telling Professor, you anything. I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You <laughs> seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather I think the dragon it just... Would seem that it chose us. Yeah. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will Fine. be valuable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. So Come it's like a me in my report card, you've essentially. Classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments okay, I mentioned. Okay, And fine. we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I feel very micromanaged by her. I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty. Well, 
I think that is about time to cut this episode. And then we shall be back in the next one to keep on keeping on. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>